Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make a quick and easy pasta sauce. It's going to be a lentil and mushroom sauce and it's super creamy and very delicious and it's very quick and easy to make. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So first up I want to make the liquid portion of this sauce. And I've already measured out about one cup's worth of vegetable broth. And to this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I want a nice subtle smokiness through this sauce. But if you don't have liquid smoke, just leave it out. Or even just add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. That would be delicious as well. So I'm just going to pour that into there. Now to thicken the sauce, I'm actually not using regular flour. I'm going to be using chickpea flour. I love to use chickpea flour in my sauces because it adds extra protein, it's iron rich and it makes sauces really super creamy. So I'm going to just add this to the liquid mixture and then just give it a bit of a whisk through just to make sure that there's no lumps and bumps in there and that it's nice and smooth for the ultimate end result. So to cook this up today I'm going to do it in my small Sunbeam electric fry pan. But normally I would do this in my non-stick circulon pans. So it's totally up to you which pots or pans you want to use to cook this. But I've brought this up to heat, about a medium heat, medium to high heat. And then I'm going to add in the mushrooms. And I'm not going to add any oil to this. The mushrooms will release their own liquid. And if they do start to stick, just add a tiny splash of vegetable broth or water. So to this, I'm adding one teaspoon of crushed garlic. It's actually store-bought and out of a jar. But if you wanted to crush it up yourself, then maybe get one or two cloves worth of garlic and crush them up and add them to this. So as I'm enjoying my mushroom <laughs> facial here, I'm also going to add in one can of drained lentils. And then just give that a mix through. The mushrooms are already pretty much cooked and they didn't release too much liquid this time around. So just keep an eye on the particular type of mushrooms that you have. And if they do add extra liquid to this mix, then either cook it down a little bit or if you find that your sauce is too running, just add a little bit more of that chickpea flour to make an adjustment at the end. So I'm just giving that a little bit of a stir through. And then I'm just adding... A small dash of black pepper and also white pepper. Each of those types of pepper engage a different part of your palate. So it's nice to include both because it gives a really nice rounded peppery flavour. And the white pepper is a little bit more sweet. So it's absolutely delicious. And it engages different parts of your palate. So you actually don't need to use salt or a lot less salt than what you normally would. Okay, so this is now ready for the liquid part. I'll just give this just a little stir through just to make sure all of that chickpea flour hasn't settled at the bottom. And then I'm going to just add this in. And then just give this a stir for about a minute or two till it thickens up to the consistency that you like your sauce at. And then it's ready to serve. So as you can see, that only took a couple of minutes really to cook this up. And it's just one of the fastest and most delicious sauces. I love making this. It's so quick and simple. And you can add extra vegetables in here as well if you want. Or maybe a cup of salsa to jazz it up and give it a little bit of a tomato flavour. It's very versatile, very quick and easy, super delicious. And you can serve it over baked potatoes as well or over rice. It's really, really healthy and just nutritious and packed with protein and nutrition and vitamins and minerals. It's just yum. And again, it uses no oil. It's 100% vegan, plant-based, whole food, absolutely delicious. So I hope that you give this recipe a try. And if you're stuck for recipe ideas, I have a seven day meal plan down below. It's absolutely free for you to download and take the shopping list with you when you go to the shops and buy your ingredients for the whole week. And you have your meals planned out, your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all your snacks as well. So check that out below. 
and I would love to see your photos of this creation over in my Facebook group. So come and join me there. I'll leave a link to that below as well. I would love to see what you use this sauce on and any additions that you put in here. I would love to see that too. I hope you give this recipe a try and I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye for now. Yum, it smells so good. Mm, I do have to taste it. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so good. Give it a try. So delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I have to go and cook faster. <laughs> Bye.